yeah, so you 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 can't you can't really just focus on on Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns and AIG and and Merrill Lynch and expect a lot of people to appreciate how much the financial crisis hit Main Street. Because frankly, a lot of people on Main Street had never even heard of Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns. And certainly people that work in finance, people in Manhattan, you know, these are household names in a certain context. Um, but on Main Street, a lot more people knew the name Washington Mutual on the, on the West Coast in particular than knew the name Lehman Brothers. Uh, Washington Mutual was a household bank. Uh, the old home savings and loan and from Seattle to San Diego just had a very big penetration of the loan market and of customer deposits and, and therefore banking assets. And, and uh, it was in late September when they went down that I think a lot of Main Streeters realized, okay, well, we knew the stock market's dropping. We knew our 401ks were dropping. Obviously, people knew about the housing crisis at that point, but uh, all of a sudden, you you know, IndyMac had gone down in the summer. It was a little bit more regional, Washington Mutual, really large West Coast banking chain. So the FDIC, because this was a real commercial bank, unlike the investment banks that were not under the tutelage of the FDIC, um, they came in and have a process to go about seizing. But Washington Mutual would have been an awfully large seizure for the FDIC. And, and they uh, brokered a transaction for J.P. Morgan to to uh, essentially take over JP Morgan being itself um, a mix of Chase Manhattan Bank and and Bank One and JP Morgan had all kind of come together, kept the brand name JP Morgan, led by a CEO uh, Jamie Dimon. They they were in a financial position to take over, uh, take responsibility for Washington Mutual's liabilities, which again, as a result of more recent times building up to the housing crisis, they had decided to play the catch up game as well, had the credit quality of their loan portfolio deteriorate exponentially. And then all of a sudden, when everything hit the fan, they were stuck with massive losses and in need of billions of dollars of capital to fill that hole. And JP Morgan did that with some backing from FDIC, of course. And uh, so now this made in six months, two multi, multi-billion dollar uh, acquisitions that JP Morgan had made um, of iconic names of significant financial assets on the investment banking and securities trading and institutional business side with Bear Stearns. And then now on the retail banking side, adding to their Chase Bank um, national footprint, they, they added the Washington Mutual brand. Uh, so customers who were pulling money out of the banks in mass, a kind of more traditional retail run on the banks, they were made fully whole. JP Morgan was there to back it. No one was losing that money. Bondholders of Washington Mutual were blown out, which did not happen with Bear Stearns. And that's because what JP Morgan was taking it out of an FDIC insolvency. So the debt holders were killed. And that's one of the only uh, institutions that that happened to. Lehman Brothers went through bankruptcy. Their debt was blown up and 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 uh, Washington Mutual. Um, other than that, the bonds of most of these banks were, because they didn't have to go through a bankruptcy process, uh, were all kind of paid out at par value. So uh, at this point, we, we it was very clear. Um, I, I, I had checked in a hotel in New York and, and it was getting word on the wire of what had been going on at Washington Mutual. And, and the feeling I remember having was, okay, now it's spilling over and, and it's not a stock market story. Uh, it's not even an investor story. It's not even a real estate story. That this is going to be an economic story um, that has not yet found a bottom, that has not yet found government support, it has not yet found taxpayer support. And when you got a bank like Washington Mutual involved, what, what could end up being next? And, and on one hand, you're getting numb to what's happening on Wall Street at the time. But uh, there was not really any time for numbness because every day, if you got numb, you were getting re-poked with something else. And on this day, Washington Mutual was that thing.